so i think in d2c right direct to consumer e-commerce where you don't have so we are not present as such in in store so you can't try our products right and that is uh, true for most d2c e-commerce products right because you're banking on people coming to your website you're banking on giving them a full sort of as good as you can experience of your products online and expecting them to put their credit card on your website that's a lot to expect from people right if we, they can't touch and feel a product and we are talking about cpg products right where you're actually going to put it on your face and use it as personal care etc you're expecting them to give their credit card away on a product that they haven't felt so there definitely there are a lot of challenges but of course i think one thing that went in our uh, favor uh, in the favor of e-commerce was covid for sure i think covid was a full catalyst in moving consumers online and having that major shift in behavior overnight right what we expected to happen in 5 years happened pretty much in 2 months so that was in our favor now having said that people are coming to your website but how do you get them to convert right as a d2c e-commerce i think is very important to have your three pillars like you asked three pillars for me would be how you present your brand i think branding is absolutely critical right and brand is not just the visuals brand is what you stand for brand is uh, you know uh, how you talk to people how what your voice is i think all of these how you take a stand on certain social issues i think all of this is branding so this is where the first sort of connect with audiences happen where an audience will feel like hey they connect with you they you understand them so that's branding right i think it's very essential in terms of branding for d to c e-commerce where they trust you to have that authority i think the second is um, a great product for sure if your product is not great on e-commerce people are not going to come back to you right uh and of course being very vulnerable as well about it if your product is not good it's not good but you need to keep your audience engaged and tell them that hey you know this is the things that we found in our last release we've now worked on it and now maybe this is something you know that we've worked on and this is a better product that we're bringing to you but being absolutely upfront about the fact that you are building the product with feedback from these people right especially for a new startup i can't say maybe it's the same thing for a, an established d2c brand but for a new product that's coming to market it's very important to be vulnerable and telling that that we are humans as well we are taking your feedback and we are building a better product for you so i think branding where they where they believe in your voice uh having a great product or a product that they believe that you're building with them and i think the third is customer service right after care is very very important because once a decision is made like an e-commerce if a customer cannot talk to you and tell you that hey i don't like this can or this did not arrive to me at this time what can you do about it i think it's very important to have your customer care in place as well mm-hmm. right so this is as far as of course uh, the brand pillars are concerned uh business pillars are concerned if you have these three in place where mm-hmm. you're very absolutely honest about all the mistakes you are making where you are honest about your brand voice it's not something that you just put on because the world is trending towards it it's something that you totally believe in and your customer care is on spot like where your where customer is the king i mean no matter what you guys say what anybody say i think customer is the king if the customer is not happy you're not going to get anywhere so you need to make sure that customer is putting that effort and in, uh, into talking to you he's spending that time and money on you you better be good to this person right he's the boss So I think customer care is absolute paramount. Having said that, in terms of marketing, there are I think different pillars where you're actually, you know, the first step towards actually getting to this point is how do you get your product in front of people. So in that terms, I think that's a completely different conversation. But if once you've got people on your website, I think this is exactly what you need: these three things in place to actually have a successful uh, brand and a business eventually. Mm-hmm.